Well, tonight, new controversy is brewing over the option for some nursing homes to become COVID hubs. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us what happened at one Livonia facility that was ready to start welcoming patients next week. Cayman Davis says these COVID hubs should be opened in empty facilities, not nursing homes filled with vulnerable seniors. I'm not trying to lose my mom who's in her 80s and has survived a stroke of six years to this disease because somebody decided, oh, we're going to bring it in the building. Cayman Davis couldn't believe it when he heard Wellspring Lutheran Services was making changes to their nursing home, Livonia Woods. Changes that would have allowed them to become a COVID regional hub for the state. In addition to temporary plastic barriers, management was going to have a contractor build a wall and add a door to help isolate the COVID positive patients they would be taking in as one of 21 hubs across the state. My mom is petrified. While the governor's executive order directs nursing homes to take in COVID patients if they have appropriate PPE, staffing, and ways to isolate, becoming a hub is optional. And each COVID hub would get $5,000 a bed and receive a daily amount of money from the state for taking care of these higher acuity patients. To me, it's just the idea that the money is so great that everything else doesn't matter. That's just what I see this as. It's just a money grab. Just like we're we, we going to get these COVID patients come hell or high water. Action News reached out to Wellspring Lutheran Services, and by this afternoon, they sent us a statement saying they have now decided that Livonia Woods will not be a COVID hub. The reasons they cite includes feedback from worried families. Bonnie's son was elated and relieved when we told him. I think Michigan has some of the highest death rates of uh, people in nursing homes catching this disease. You know, it's like bringing dynamite into a fire. And Cayman Davis says he didn't just speak up for his mother, but also other residents and the staff. In Livonia, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, for more information,